I'm going. <clears throat> I'm gonna let you do it. Alex, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, welcome back to episode two of the Fragalicious podcast, the Fragcast. We are here today with EJ, Awoken Anomaly, Hi. Jim, Grim Chief, Joe, Faux Show, and Alex, hey, aka Hidden Archer. Um, we're going to go off on a tangent with this stream, but first, we had a challenge that was announced in last week's podcast between Awoken Anomaly and Joe, where we're going to see which of the two of them can eat four Baconators first. This is terrifying, though. <laughs> we're, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not looking forward to watching you guys eat this. Can we also it. just give a slight round of applause, though, to Grim for taking the time out of his busy week to come in and spend some time with us away from WoW? We're so glad to be in your presence, sir. Yes, thank you for joining this week's podcast. Yeah. Um, he. Grim should be on the podcast most of the time. He is part of uh, Frag, uh, the main Frag crowd. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> EJ's <art. laughs> fucking camera! Before this challenge begins, EJ is doing a thing with, with his webcam, and I also want to give a slight shout out to EJ for being an absolute beast for demolishing four oh. bacon and eggers only about an hour and a half ago. Wait, what the fuck did prior you just say? To this challenge. Bacon and, and eggers from McDonald's. There you go. Four. <laughs> So if he can finish four Baconators, I'm going to be genuinely really impressed. I mean, I don't even want this to be a race. I just want to be able to finish it and not die. Because if I try to scarf it, it's definitely coming back up. <laughs> you can take your time, but we'll just see who's going to finish first. Okay. So, <laughs> like, we'll, we'll, we'll start the challenge, and then we'll just start with topics that we have off to the side. But yeah, we'll just, go... we'll just keep going as we're eating. Yeah. Uh, so, Joe, I'm going to get you to uh, start off on the first topic that you'd like to discuss. So, who here has seen the show yeah. Chernobyl? No. no. Never heard of it. No. You haven't even heard of it. Never heard of it. Grim, have you at least heard of the show Chernobyl? Yes. Okay. So, whole show based off of, you know, the great disaster that happened at Chernobyl. If instead of following like the touch the elephant foot, <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> now, following seasons, different natural disasters. What do you think would make the best show? I'm Here's... gonna start real quick here and say we slightly talked about what Chernobyl was earlier, and I thought I didn't know it was a show. I thought he was talking like we added a season between like fall and winter, where it was just ash falling from the sky. Spring, some summer, winter. <laughs> winter, ash. Yeah, or it was like some yeah. Silent Hill shit, like adding different seasons just in the Chernobyl area because the radiation was so bad. Like they had a decay period prior to um, summer. Like spring happens, everything blooms, decays, and it's just burnt to shit for the rest of summer. <laughs> Like, and then more thought, leaves like, fall. Yeah, more leaves fall. It's like they get like two falls per year. So you're saying if it, every season was a different something. Yeah, another like huge disaster thing. What do you think would make a good TV show? Wait, what do I think would make a good TV show in that like within the realms of that concept? Correct. Like no. for example, mine would be Hiroshima. But, like, from the locals' perspective. Because oh. everything that we see, all of the stuff in our history books, is always, America, we blew shit up! But, like, then you just hear, like, two sad stories, like, little Tommy and Jenny, their parents got blown up and now they're scarred for life. But, like, a whole, like, season of a TV show that was dedicated to that, 
I think would be insane. That would be pretty. That'd be pretty interesting to watch. I agree with that. Man, that would be tough. Be, <laughs> that would be a. It'd be a tough sell because of how sensitive it is. But it would be if done correctly. I mean, but how do you even do that correctly? There's no one left. You know what I mean? Like, or is it like events leading up to? Exactly. Well, yeah, like yeah, that's like how Chernobyl is. I know. I, I've never seen it. Like I said, but I've... people so, survive Chernobyl is the thing. So they're like, doing oh, their. Okay. 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 I see. They're showing all the other fighting and shit. You know, like, woo, Pacific Islands. Let's get it. You know. Fuck the U.S. And then the last episode is the bomb actually going off. That would be interesting. So like, I think. So wait, are you talking about like different disasters leading up to the bomb going off? Just like life and like I guess like general concerns that's happening. And but that would also be kind of hard too because they didn't see it coming as well, right? Exactly. So. I mean, you would have to make that season just like a general like World War II kind of a thing. Day in the life. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Wait, are you guys just eating this while we're discussing it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's going to be ridiculous. Okay. The other one that I think would be cool would be uh, like a personal perspective on somebody living in New Orleans during Katrina. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Or like, what is that? What what was the meltdown? What was that meltdown? Um, that happened that at that nuclear plant. Uh, n no, not uh, in the Japan, one... right? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. I don't know if that because. Uh, Joe, are you done your first one yet? One bite left. Bro, I'm on my second now. <laughs> oh my god! What was the Fukushima? Uh, Fukushima. Yeah. Uh huh. We got this, Joe. Yeah. One cancer death attributed to radiation exposure. That's it. That's all that happened at Fukushima. That's awesome, though. That there is a full meltdown and there is only one death that came of it. The whole disaster. Sorry to the one dude, but... <laughs> that's that's <laughs> awesome. They were see, able to prevent the, multiple deaths. I want to see Chernobyl death. A lot. A lot. Let's see. I would, okay, so I just Googled this, and I thought for maybe a season, just from the information I have about the show, one would have been about the Russian sleep experiment, but I found out that was just creepypasta. That wasn't a real thing. Um, no, it was definitely real. I, I don't know. I'm getting Just like, just here. like Slender Man. Okay, Slender Man's so real. It says in... 31 people died as the immediate result. 50 can be directly attributed... But they predicted in twenty, in, in, oh, in oh five, that four thousand might eventually die because of the exposure. That's nutty. Oh, shit. Okay, Whoa. and like, okay, no meme. A season of the days leading up to the uh, end of Jeffrey uh, Epstein's death. Smooth then, saying death. What? I said that was smooth saying death and not suicide. <laughs> yeah. Well, like <laughs> whatever. It, but but the end of the the series like lets you decide if you think he died suic uh, via suicide or killed or via the Clintons. That too, <laughs> sure. Here's Another one would kind of be an experiment. Conspiracy portion of the podcast. <laughs> World War Two experiments. That'd be kind of interesting. The Soviets. Actually, yeah. No, yeah. The men who stare at goats. What happened? Oh, see you, Grim. Bye, Grim. Continue. I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, I think that'd be kind of a interesting topic. I'd be cool with it. Yeah. LSD and stuff. While we're while we're on this uh very quick tinfoil hat um tangent, have you guys seen this Wayfair shit? Yes. Okay. I, I was kind of thinking about it. that. <laughs> so, do you want to explain, Joe? So, basically, a bunch of internet sleuths on Reddit 
decided to, uh, or I don't even know how it initially came about, but somebody somewhere noticed that, um, you know, Wayfair is known for their more um, inexpensive furniture and stuff. But people noticed that there was stuff on there for like five thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. There was like a yeah, fifteen thousand like dollar grand. Yeah. And it's like, okay, that's weird for like, you know, this low cost furniture place. And then they uh they did some more digging and stuff, and the names of a lot of these cabinets and pillows and stuff like that. Oh, apparently kids yeah oh my god they have the same name as these missing kids now a handful of them have been you know disproven and stuff um like there was one girl that came forward that we're going to put her video in right after this um where she's talking about the fact that you know she's not missing like she was missing for a little bit but she was found and she's fine and you know this this shit's fucking ridiculous and blah 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 but everyone just ignored it and then they took it a step further and uh, said oh she's being like held at gunpoint or something to be to like to say that so that we stop oh, believing yeah. it right here how you mad because people thought you was really missing and they shared a post trying to help they didn't know and that we know you're missing good, but damn, good, but damn. No, I'm mad because first of all, the whole, the first of all, I tell him that I wasn't missing. That's why I'm mad. I tell him I wasn't missing, first of all. And second of all, he talking about it was going around in the group chat. And if I really would, if that was true and I'm missing, and then he going to put his little, why is your caption even that? That don't even make sense. If if, if you post them motherfuckers who actually missing, you trying to get motherfuckers to share the shit, why are y'all sharing some shit who this nigga don't even know? That if it's really true or not. What are y'all talking about? Y'all all sound stupid talking about why am I mad? Because I'm not missing. Fuck out of here. Fuck. Let me go get a picture of you, bitch, and say you missing. And then put a little motherfucking cabinet next to it. And have everybody share that shit. Let's see how you feel. Fuck out of here. Weird as fuck. Girl, no. Okay, cool. And, um... So... Then the the only one that I think is kind of, like, fucked with the whole thing, like, the rest of them can just kind of be, like, a coincidence. Like, like something called Annabelle. Like, yeah. okay, that's a common-ass name. Like, you know, just... You could probably find 5,000 different missing persons reports with the name Annabelle on it. Like, that's not, that's not special, you know? Yeah. But, uh... The you said that, and I just started typing twitch.tv slash Annabelle. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if she's live. Um, it's just the fucking doll, and it just stares at you. It's the 24-hour cast. Um, but no, so the, 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 uh, the fucked part. One of the SKU numbers for one of the cabinets... When you when you type that SKU number into a Google search, it comes up as a bunch of pictures of just underage kids. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. You take the like SKU, you put in the number followed by it, and then all of the images that's brought up are all underage up, kids. All underage, like ranging from like I don't know, probably six months to like preteens. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's pretty oh interesting, God. and but like the thing is, is like some of the names are questionable because there's like one one or two names I've never ever heard of in my entire life, but uh -huh. the cabinets are named after them at fifteen thousand. And the Wayfair came out and was like, "Oh no, all those cabinets are expensive because they're industrial." We contacted the uh, uh, original sellers um, to update the pictures and update the price range as to why it's that price. Yeah. And now people are like, oh, they're just covering it up. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a yikes from me, guys. But, but uh -huh. the thing is, so someone I was talking to about before this um, mentioned that, like, why would they use Wayfair? Because it leaves a paper trail. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, crisis solved. Nobody would use Wayfair for this. I don't think so. Case I closed. There's too much information. Yeah. Now we're going to get doxxed by Reddit sleuths. <laughs> They're going to figure out from, like, the trajectory of the sun behind EJ, where we all live. <laughs> uh, exactly. One um, topic I... Go. Go ahead. Go. Okay. I'm eating. <laughs> One topic I kind of wanted to touch on was... Um, our adventure as journey as a live streamer, or at least the subject on why we're doing it. <laughs> Stop zooming! <laughs> it's distracting a little bit. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, Grim goes first. Oh no! Yeah. yeah so far, you. or like what? In the beginning, Grim Chief was created. Okay, no. <laughs> but like where where do you want why why did you want to stream in the first place what made you start up your first stream honestly how did you do it uh -huh. you playing? i don't remember let's what are the specifics of the first day actually at all i i don't know okay well i i had tried it a couple times right but like here and there like no set schedule whatever i still don't really have a set schedule but it wasn't like I don't know. It's something I was like trying out, you know, after college. I didn't do it during college. I probably should have. That would have been really smart if I did that. But, um, I started watching DSI stream a lot. Good buddy uh, of mine. You guys know him. Yeah, uh, during Sliver early days. No, no. I showed him that. By the way, I showed him. That's I showed him Sliver. Oh. Yeah, so we've been friends for like 15 plus years. And I had seen him stream, and I saw his stream grow. And I don't know. Just seeing a friend do it, like, kind of gave me the courage to be like, okay, I can do this, you know? Like, I, and I saw how successful he was getting. And then. You know, I got I had gotten into it, and I had you know built a computer. I first started on my PS4 and like my 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 old gaming laptop, and then it evolved into me building my computer, and then just like setting up my stream to make it feel better. But really, like it was not a problem for me. Like I didn't have like a the social like showing myself like do stuff like issue. Like I think for me it was like. I was I almost feel like I kind of have the personality to where I can do it and like really you have well. An for it. Yeah, exactly. Like it's a non-traditional way of doing stuff and I think that that's kind of who I am like as a person in general is that like I'm pretty I don't know, outspoken, I guess. I don't know if that's like the correct word to say. Yeah. But uh I don't know. Like, I feel different from my family, anyways, and like non-traditional as it goes. So, like, I just felt like, like it was it was a cool thing to start doing. And then to like, you know, at first it was just like, whatever. I'm playing video games. I don't give a fuck about my audience. I don't care, you know, what this is, this, that, and the other. It'll come, you know. But it like it really doesn't come. Like, you kind of have to really market yourself quite a bit, and you have to like put in more work than you would you would like see on the like the surface you know what i mean like just watching a streamer and watching your buddy do it so then yeah. it became more of like like probably what most streamers find is like okay this is like a fair amount of community building and i've always thought i could be like a community manager and shit like that like like i i definitely think i could do that i would just need to like stop getting high as much <laughs> <laughs> be more motivated <laughs> um but i always felt like i could do that but be like cool like chill about it like but that and that is another thing like it's it is a medicinal thing for me um streaming smoking pot like those things are outlets of things like things to do like to like calm my mind you know what i mean yeah. and i don't i like i like i don't take add medicine and i've never been diagnosed with it but you know what i mean like your mind wanders especially i would think more so as an uh, extrovert than an introvert like in, in an outward direction. When you're an introvert, all your, your thoughts are here and contained and you know where they fit in every compartment in your brain. But as an extrovert, as myself anyways, I feel like I'm just like fucking, ah, 
like in every direction. And <laughs> when I start containing thoughts, you know, I'm just like, oh my God, I need some way to organize it. So, so outlet uh, for thoughts plus a nice community that you can put yourself out to and mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. And, and now like my plans going forward, like I've, I've come from that, like evolved into like this, like streaming personality person. Well, Theta actually and Sliver helped me build, like find who Joe is, you know, find, you know, you guys and Derek and everybody. And like, it became more of a, like, okay, this is a community thing. Like, I don't really care what, like, you know, the site is that I'm on, you know, as long as that the like, community is there and there's people talking. And that's why I've made the transition from Twitch to Theta then back to Twitch because like, in my opinion, right now, Theta's community is very stale and more of like a grind season fucking type community. And people have their own little communities that they brought, but like, you know, I have people that when I go live on Theta, they're so happy to see me. And it's like, it's the same people, but I, I want to like see more people. Like I want to affect more people. I want to be able to touch on more people. I want to be able to like, like it's if like, Okay, let me backpedal there. I don't want to touch on people like no, physically. no. I was gonna I leave it. I I left it. I tried. It took everything oh, in my being to not say me, okay. This me, just in. Bring it back. There's the title. I, I Grim want touches to, wants to touch on I wanna, people. I want to touch uh, you, stream. This isn't a Joe Biden stream, guys. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh. Anyways. Um. So. More so what I mean is, like, I like to travel. I like to, when I go places, meet people, talk to people, converse with people. I'm confrontational. Um, and I feel like streaming is a really good outlet. Like you said, Jax, is uh, it to, like, to like hit more people in the world and, like, you know, get to more people and get more of your influence across a wider variety of people and kind of, like, share those, like, experiences with people that you couldn't normally share with face-to-face -face because you're not there. But they're, you know, they could be anywhere, you know? Which I, that, I, that's why it ties it back into gaming. Like for me, it, it gives me the same effect, like yeah. as those things to like help me back and, and help myself grow as a person. By I feel like my experience, you know, I feel like our experiences help us grow. And the more you experience, you know, the more you're growing. So it's kind of just like I feel like it's a multiplicative effect. Like the more you know, you know what I mean. And it's just like I feel like streaming is a really good outlet for like learning a bunch of new shit, like just like in technology itself like community people and all the all the things that come with it you know like it's just you're, you're growing in multiple directions and i feel like that's really good for people's psyche uh their mental fortitude and like their understanding of the way things are like wow. ej there's learning there's how to answer. go ahead like ej learning how to work his webcam right now exactly <laughs> What? I forget what I was going to say. <laughs> what? I'm not even working on my webcam. The learning experience. Don't Joe, what do you, what, 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 uh, yeah, what are you on? I'm on my third sandwich. Oh. Have you started it yet? I, I took two bites out of it. This, this is my third one right here. I, I want to die. Oh. Okay, Dude. now, uh, since we briefly touched on, on the, uh, devil's lettuce there, um, do you oh. think, do you think that it's a help or a hindrance as a content creator involving marijuana in any sense depends on your personality you know? depends on your moderation okay i, I get really say... quiet when i smoke weed i wouldn't be able to stream with it makes it harder for sure um, so it's a hindrance to your like creative process and stuff you think i think if I'm going to smoke while I'm doing it, um, I would say I put the fucking cam down and make sure, you know, I hide it. Yeah, that's that's how I do yeah. math. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um No, but I feel like it's it's a help for me to focus sometimes and relax, like and it's like it when I'm in this stasis of like like coming down off the high to where like I wanna get high again to like it's another like another like stressing up point so like i feel like that's where my best creative process happens but like 
before, like when I'm smoking at those two points, like that's like is paranoid. Yeah, I, or just not thinking or not, not like I'll get good ideas when I'm high and I'll be able to type for days, but I can't, I can't like sit here and like create. You know, I mean, I'm high right now, but <laughs> I'm at the point where I got high already. You don't want to apply it. Yeah, it's about how you apply it for sure. But I think it's like your moderation. If you smoke a shitload and like dab the fuck out, it's going to be hard as shit to focus, to pay attention, to do anything like two things at once. Like multitasking becomes difficult um, when you're high for sure. But I think yeah. like it gives me great ideas that I just need to fucking write down. And I'm glad we have this forum now to do that. Um, so that we can talk about it and, you know, stuff like that. So this is cool. I like that. Um, it's like a verbal, but I also am super visual. So, like, when I'm writing stuff down, I, I retain it better, obviously. I think most people do, but. Definitely can agree with that one. I'd say help, yeah. it, help and hindrance. I'd say it's both. See, I know, and the reason I brought this up is because I know for 110% fact that I cannot do it. And that might just be because I try to keep a really, really high energy, especially because, I mean, you have to think about, like, the games that I play. You know, like, it's Valorant, Apex, now Hyperscape. So all these, like, really, I mean, Valorant's kind of like the outlier there. But, you know, it's more like the fast-paced first-person shooter stuff where it's like, I can't just kind of... <laughs> Chill and relax. And yeah. Play a game. Yeah. yeah. I do Valorant like that on edibles and it doesn't work out so well. I also typed like an essay just now when I was slapping my keyboard in the you notes. Know, but when I'm focused in Valorant and I'm high, my aim's better. I'm not as frantic with my movement and I don't get as jumpy. Uh huh. I feel like it calms me down. But I feel like that's another thing too, is like your dependency. Um <clears throat> I think affects it as well. Like the the more you can tolerate it, yeah. And like as more as it becomes like a tool than a hindrance. I think like over time you can mold it to your will per se. <laughs> like yeah. use um, it, use use your powers for good. <laughs> so we kind of got off, off topic from the main one just a little bit. So let's bring it back, EJ. Why did you start streaming every once in a while? Chernobyl. <laughs> I don't know. I just I was like, you know what? Why not? I, I, I had no reason. I just, uh, <laughs> sure, I'm just gonna start it. Who gives a shit? I'm gonna hit that's this fucking live reason. button. Fair enough. Yeah, that's really Fair all enough. it was. <laughs> How about you, Joe? So, I originally was into this. I mean, this is way back. This is 2013. Um, I was. I wanted to get into like the YouTube scene because. I, you know, I, I game all the time and I never shut up when, you know, like people are around and I talk to myself while I'm gaming. So why not put that out there? Um, and so I did that for, it was a solid like eight or nine months, I think is about how long that was. Started off with like the typical like COD gameplay and stuff. Um, then I moved into the more, like, horror-esque, like, think, like, you know, Markiplier, PewDiePie kind of shit, um, and I, it, I just kind of, like, related with them, because it was, like, they're, you know, they're over the top, and they're, like, goofy, and they're weird, and I just felt like, like, I fit in there, um, but I, I had the the girl that i was dating at the time fucking hated it it was the dumbest shit to her how the fuck do you play video games all the time nobody fucking wants to watch you anyway this and that totally fucking killed everything um yeah and i just lost like all drive to do it so i stopped and you know meanwhile i'm still watching these guys and like fuck they're having so much fun like they're doing so awesome um and then in 2018 I got more into like the streaming community and I'm like, cool, that works. Cause it's the same thing as like the YouTube stuff, but I don't have to edit anything. And it's like this, like instant feedback from people. I don't have to wait, you know, 24, 48 hours to see, LOL, Joe, that was fucking awesome. It's, yeah. it's right there. So I, I like the idea of that instant gratitude and the, 
lack of editing that I needed to do. Um, you know, still keep <laughs> still keep like the showmanship up and like the the quality of the content, but I don't have to sit there and like go through hours and hours of footage every day. But now um, you have to do that anyways. Yeah, now I'm back to doing it. So, <laughs> um, but that's kind of like why I started up the stream stuff. Um, and I started with Fortnite. Ooh. Yeah. Right. Um, and that was just because like that's what I was playing at the time, and I was goddamn good at it. And then I realized, wait, I'm not 15. Um. I play other games besides this. People like to watch other games besides this. So I branched off, you know, got into more of the like first person shooter stuff. Um, and now I just kind of keep doing it. I mean, it's, it's similar with like what Grim was saying with it being an outlet, but for me, it's almost more like I'm already doing these things. I might as well share what I'm doing with people because I've gotten almost nothing but positive feedback except for my ex so if people are enjoying it i'm not gonna stop like yeah, you made a right choice there <laughs> <laughs> all right let's hear it Jax. uh okay very similar to yours actually um it was around the mw2 days so i Google, I just Googled the release date, around 2009, 2010. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do the exact same thing because I had I was buddied up with the clan. We were making videos and like taking clips and all that stuff for the team, you know, like the, the frag <laughs> videos and or the montages. That's what it is. So I wanted to do that with capture cards, do the whole YouTube thing. Didn't work out. I didn't have money at the time because I didn't even have a fucking job at the time. Um so it was kind of that, and then slowly grew more and more towards that. Finally, I actually saved up enough money, got a decent computer. I'm like, I want to try this streaming. Like, let's see where we go with that. And it started with Counter-Strike, actually. Um, that's kind of where I started everything. And then I slowly got away from that because all the tournaments, all the actual pros, that's where all the views go to, and that's where everyone hangs out because they want to see good players, not me. Then that one, yep, that one hurts. Can yeah. can relate. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I did the exact same thing with the horror games. Following, I think one of the first, I did Amnesia first, I believe. I did the exact same thing. Amnesia went into the FNAF series. SCP, oh God, man! And then people would start like I ended up building a good horror community where I was at like twenty four, twenty five viewers. That was like where I peaked. Uh, at the time and then and like then they would just send me a bunch of games and then hello neighbor was the one that really got me up there as well when that was alpha beta <sighs> what a game <laughs> yeah um so that's where i really did that and then i stopped for a while uh because i ended up kind of got a girlfriend all my time ended up going to her <laughs> like even took over like my time for my friends and everything kind of got a girlfriend yeah it was for a while <laughs> <laughs> for a while and i ended up pushing away friends and all that stuff i'm like I, I can't do that again so out of that now that i coming out of that relationship and then this the whole last One year second, i'll be right back no okay, okay. <laughs> bye anyway. <laughs> anyway that's what all my time went towards and then i was just having a blast i moved to a new city i was hanging out with new people uh all my time was deri uh, directed somewhere else Mm -hmm. And then now that I'm back here and then this whole COVID thing had started, I actually finally was able to sit down, put everything together properly, get everything sorted out on my stream for the most part. And then that's where I started end up meeting you, uh, Grim, and I've known EJ and Derek forever. Uh, and then like, yeah, and then it's been it's just been super on and off for about five years of streaming. Mm -hmm. And then I only finally just sat down. I'm like, okay, I'm doing it. And and then a month's time, I hit affiliate on Twitch uh, from actually sitting down from getting it done. Hell yeah! So yeah. Anyway, that's that's really it. It's very similar to jo uh, uh, Joe's. Pardon? So it's good shit. Yeah, thanks, man. It is excellent so, I shit. I tried out Theta as well, but it was I couldn't do it. No one fucking talked. But I would have like nine viewers, and everyone was just bots. I'm like, hey, yeah, that's my issue. <laughs> 
that's my issue with it. That's kind of what I was getting at. Is like the sense of community isn't as there as like if your Twitch chat's blowing up. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like you can you can see the viewer count skyrocketing, but out of the you know thirty to seventy viewers that you have, you have like six in there actively talking to you. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. it was a fucking mess <laughs> alright what burger are you guys on I'm on three still I'm on my last one but I haven't opened it yet <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm in like oh I'm trying so hard to concentrate on the podcast cause I am in so much fucking pain oh no no like my stomach started giving up on me halfway through the second one yeah me too and it's just like, bro, oh. what are you doing to me? And I was like, shut up, we got this. <laughs> All right, Mama ain't ready, raised Jay. no bitch. Your turn for a subject. What? What subject do you want to touch on next? Oh, listen, I, I've actually even already just put it in my part. Look at What flavor of sunflower seed is the best? <laughs> <laughs> That's like a 10 second conversation. R ranch, moving forward. <laughs> Just dill pickle, yeah, actually, good call. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, Grim, your turn to pick a subject, I guess. Yeah, dill pickle is probably this. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right, let's check um, that off the list. So, okay, let's see. What do I got here? Valhalla. Oh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I haven't looked at anything about it. How the fuck can they have a female let's Viking? The, uh, let's. Should we put the Should we put the trailer? For sure, yeah, the trailer, hundred percent, dude. Joe, for editing purposes, let's just all watch it on our own screen, and then you can throw it in, and we'll just three, two, one, go all at the same time. Yeah. So okay, YouTube, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, just the gameplay trailer or the regular trailer? Well, the, yeah, it's. I think it's only the. Trailer. Yeah, Valhalla official trailer. From IGN. Two months ago? Yeah. yeah. You guys haven't seen this? I don't care for Assassin's well, Creed a, anymore. There's a gameplay trailer. That's cool. No, this one, this one's gonna bring it back. I think my last one I played was Unity. But so the the one the one from IGN, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm putting I'm putting this up for editing purposes. Don't worry about actually watching it. It's just so that I have the spot for it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'll say on go. So it'll be everyone good? Yep. Yep. Three, two, one, go. I love this song, by the way. They are hot. I forgot to put on audio. It's on my other computer. Godless barbarians. God damn it. Hey, we have the same haircut. <laughs> they murder and kill blindly. Do they though? They scar the lands of England. That was a cool Lands they will never defend. Never love. The time has come to speak to them in a language they will understand. War. Badass. Oh, Only Shrek. Oh, Hell yeah, the long boats. I thought if I just never clean the ears, I can do a Shrek and just take out all the ear wax. Fucking golem. He's like Shrek when he lights his candles. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>
probably hit my teammate, but I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just hits your fucking friend in the face? Oh, fuck, man, my bad. By the way, that bigger guy on the horse, that's the Sam from the Adult size. You reminds me of the dude from uh, the Viking show. Yeah, 100%. Ezio Auditore de Firenze? Ragnar. Big Chunga. That's a big boy, that is. Ow. He used knockback. <laughs> He's about to use Arcane Torrent before it was nerfed. Dude, the way, hang on, this is the best, this is the best part of the whole video. Oh. Knight, you was headbutt. Hell. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What? Not gonna lie, I was waiting for that. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that that was pretty good. You like it? They they they've sold me. So yeah yeah yeah. So here's my thing. I I was a huge Assassin's Creed fan starting off. Oh, uh, what, um, what broke it for you? <laughs> Unity. <Three? laughs> no, I was still I was still in it for three, and I was still in it for Black Flag. Um, but fourth, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh. Gosh. The uh, syndicate, I think, is what it is. The the British one. That's that's the one I never, that I never played that. That's the one that kind of killed the series for me, and it's funny because it didn't kill it for that long because I enjoyed Odyssey. Um, I didn't play it's it all. Good. I didn't play it all the way through, um, because I got sidetracked with I don't remember what game it was. And but, that game's huge. Yeah. And the only reason that drew me back in was because I like the old, you know, Greco Roman shit. Yeah, this um, is, like, the, this one, is right? like Yeah. No, this is the Norse tale. Well this oh, like this you mean Odyssey. Yeah. And the only thing that I like more than Spartans is Vikings. So right. like having this I'm I'm really excited for. Um so, I Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was pretty hyped when there was rumors that it was going to be uh like f old school Japan. Like ancient Japan, so like actual ninjas and shit. Um I thought that would be really really cool. That's China, not Japan. Japan is samurais. Oops. Anyway, um <laughs> fucking uncultured american but then they they did like the mobile games or whatever and that was assassin's creed china and that's where like the ninja stuff was so that was kind of disappointing but vikings fixes all of that and i cannot wait it yeah, might I it know. might actually be a day one order for me I don't know how I feel about it, just because, personally, I think the Assassin's Creed series should have been dropped a long time ago. Because mm -hmm. I feel like they're really, really trying to milk it, that it's just becoming different games. Like, well, what if Vikings were assassins? hundred years from now, we're going to get Assassin's Creed COVID. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I played 1-2 Brotherhood. All of those I absolutely love. And mm. then... Um, actually, what was the one that was kind of uh, after that? Brotherhood, something else, I don't remember. And then there was Assassin's Creed 3. Um, the one Assassin's where you Creed... played as Connor? I yeah. think so, yeah. It was the yeah. Assassin's American? Creed. Yeah, yeah that's... that's Assassin's Creed 3. That's 3, yeah. Um, I just like how they're all kind of... Uh... Um... They, made, they made the... Oh my god, they made the mistake... Of killing off the uh, main character, though. A hundred percent. Well, like, you can relate the character from 
three all the way back to uh, un or into Unity, like through Black Flag, Unity, Rogue, they're all related. Mm -hmm. Revelations, that's the one. Yeah. That was the last one I finished. Is and that Ezio? Got... Yeah. That's Ezio yeah. still. And then Assassin's Creed 3 came out. I played maybe a couple hours of it, and yeah. I put it down, and that was, that was it for the Assassin's Creed uh, series for me. I don't care. <laughs> I... Yeah. I liked it. Black Flag was fun, but that's just because you got to be a pirate. Yeah, those pirates are that... pirate being Okay, so later. for me, I played 1, 2, all of the Ezio trilogy, didn't play Black Flag, played 3, uh, then played Unity. And then I didn't play again until Odyssey. I skipped Origins. Um, yeah, I I'm, skipped it I too. I probably will pick up this game. Especially if it's on PC. If it drops with PC. We need more Viking games. Game developers, heed me. The last good Viking <laughs> game, in my opinion, was Age of Mythology. You know what that yeah. is? It's, uh, it's, you know what Age of Empires Ooh. is? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's like... Yeah. It's like that, but it's like all the different areas and their different mythology, like the Egyptians, the Norse, the Greeks, the Atlanteans, and um, kind of almost kind of like Civ. Yeah, but like there's god powers and shit like that, oh, you can, okay, and you can yeah, like yeah. spec into certain things. It's like another layer of the game. It's really cool. Like you can use your god powers to like get ahead in certain ways. Like if you pick Zeus, you can call down like chain lightning on their whole fucking village and shit. It's fucking really cool. That's kind of neat. Me and my uh, brother and my sister always played it. It's an amazing game. Um, it's, it's timeless, dude. Like if I had like a cracked version, I'd send you all one and we could play it together. It'd be so much fun. <laughs> the Titans version. Of this game. But yeah. More Viking games. Assassin's Creed's cool. Um, so, I don't know if you guys saw the ad to that video, but it was a ad for Far Cry 6 that I haven't seen yet, but all yes. I saw was Gus Spring. Dude, I, uh, I actually watched the, uh, the trailer for Far Cry 6 today. Did you? Um, yeah, uh, when I was sitting at work. Oh, nice. I haven't seen it yet. It's... I was never a Far Cry fan. It's, I mean, uh, it South American, I believe it is, Civil War. Okay. okay. And I don't know how it's going to tie into, you know, like, your character, how, like, what you're going to play. Because, I mean, they've always been really good with Far Cry, with, uh, not showing off your main character right off the bat. It's just more highlighting the bad guy, so that you know, like, right off the bat, like, this is this is the guy that you're gonna have to fuck with for for that whole game, yeah. um, so they you know they did it once again. It's the bad guy that they highlight, and it's not the protagonist. But I am so okay with it because they do so fucking well with those like the intro trailers. Yeah, I they, I don't know about Far Cry though. I feel like the series has been really lacking after Far Cry Three. Um, because I played Far Cry Instincts and the multiplayer for that was hella fun. Far Cry Instincts was one of the best multiplayer experiences I've ever had. Really? Um, especially How's well, I, I'm talking like on force player split screen. That was one of the most fun games you could play in uh -huh. the same living room. Yeah. Um, and then I played Far Cry Three, which I thought was at, like a ton of fun far cry 4 came out i even got the collector's edition of the full statue and everything that game was a disappointment and a half and then there was primal and then five or something like that yeah and then i never even bothered picking those up one because i don't like the primal like dinosaur era type games i'm not a big fan on the, of that mm. and then far cry 5 i heard nothing but negative reviews for most people so i was like <laughs> I, I can, I'll skip it. Yeah, I mean, I played some of it because I like the the cult premise. Like, almost like uh, Outlast 2-ish. Like, I like the idea of, like, you against an entire, like, group of people. And the best group of people to go up against is a terrifying religious cult. Like, yeah. like that's how, so oh, last, you're fucked. That's what Last of Us 2 is like, kind of? But there was, 
like four of those cults. And zombies. I, it, it was and just a zombies. running simulator. It was just a running simulator. No. No, it wasn't. I got, I got bored two and a half hours in, man. Oh, we're talking Outlast 2. Oh, not, yeah. <laughs> not The Last of Us. Not The Last of Us. <laughs> Outlast 2. <laughs> I didn't play. I don't play those types of games. I play games yeah. that have that element in it, like the scary element in it. But I don't play <laughs> scary element. Games. I would. Fuck that. Oh, I would love. I would love to see Grim make it through a full horror game. I Max, do you that remember too. that like really shitty Slenderman? Oh, game I played Slenderman play? and it scared the fuck out of me. I hated Slenderman. That's the yeah, last one I played. You, you, you remember, right? So EJ still has his channel up on YouTube. Don't. I still have the videos. Oh, <laughs> he said, don't. <laughs> don't. Um, but this was like when I was telling you guys, like MW2, we wanted to record stuff for YouTube era. Uh-huh. So EJ started up a YouTube channel that me and him were going to do. And the very first game we decided to play, we recorded nine episodes in like one fucking sitting. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. And it was Slenderman. That's and amazing. Stupid young me, EJ, and another old friend. Um <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it was it was really bad. EJ we recorded it off the Xbox 360 webcam. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Why isn't this using working? using like <laughs> <laughs> using an old um oh, what the fuck was the headset ej that you had it was like an old steel series headset one second built in mic it was it was really badly done that's and hilarious then the recording quality guess what program we used uh -huh. fraps i was literally about to say it must have been fraps <laughs> it yep. was it was like the dynamic duo of terrible fucking things we could have used xbox cam Fraps and an old shitty OG Steel Series headset. Well, EJ's currently recording on a 1920s <laughs> projector. Yeah. <laughs> now this looks like a VHS from the 70s. This is some like EJ. this is like the Manson tapes. <laughs> Are you gonna Did tell you me to go kill some space, people? Though? Yeah, <laughs> just leave it. Leave it. It's yeah. like it's like a pencil sketch of you. You're like a Disney cartoon. <laughs> oh my god. So, Wait. Wow, we can see you now. I'm so proud of you. Who? EJ. We're only, 50, we're only 53 minutes in. <laughs> we can finally see him on the webcam. For the last... see him? Oh, I, I... oh there we go. <laughs> I had to click it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh Jesus Christ. Okay. One hey, thing look. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's me. Uh, nice tits. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, what's the coolest website you have ever seen? 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> M okay. Meat spin. And Better explain. Harden the fuck out of me. <laughs> Lemon party. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't really answer that. That's, I don't know if I would define websites cool. I don't know. Honestly, my my true answer with that, miniclip.com. Yes, a hundred percent. That. That literally changed my preschool life. Yeah. What was mini like, clip? Like Min you, congrats, hey, hey, class, you want to know what? We're going to the computer, the computer room today. Oh, was that kind of like free I'm math games? <laughs> no, uh, no. Mini clip was it was all flash games. Um, and this was like, this was like pre, and I mean it lasted through like the albino black sheep era and stuff, and uh. Oh my god, what's the what's the other site? Um the the logo's the tank. Newgrounds. Thank oh, yeah, you. Newgrounds. It was it was basically 
Newgrounds, Albino, Black Sheep type, and it was, but it was just all Flash games. And the best one that they, I wonder if the site is still up. I'm looking. Fucking Newgrounds.com. It still that, is. That was pre YouTube. It really was. Uh, yeah, no, that's that was the place I explored where like, I don't know, it was like you found Lockhead. Oh. Lots of lots of cartoon porn. Yeah. Um, yep. There was way too much cartoon porn. But if there was one that I specifically remember. Brickhouse Betty, I think it was. Let's pull, but... let's pull it up. And then, <laughs> and then there was on, and the reason that this is cemented in my head, minus there was like a, a knockoff version of like Worms. Oh yeah. Um, and it was like it was little like chibi like cartoon kind of dudes, and I loved playing that, but. The big call for me was the George Bush shootout. There was Bush shoot. I've seen that one. There was Bush shootout, and then there was Bush Royal Rampage. Wait, wait a second. These sound the so fuck? familiar. Bush. Here. Royal... What the fuck. Here, it's in the uh, it's in the general chat on your server. Yeah. Let's take a look at this real quick. Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> Put it under general chat on your server. Yeah. Oh my god, I do remember this. Hang on. Yeah. Holy shit. You no. played as George Bush and Condoleezza Rice, and you shot a bunch of terrorists. That's <laughs> fucked up, dude. I used to play it when I was fucking nine, and I'm like, yeah, America. Jeez, I don't. Man. I don't think I ever played this. Honestly, Fucking the one thing from Newgrounds that shit, yeah. the one that stuck out for me, and everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, the ultimate showdown." Oh yeah, Aww. yeah, no doubt. No, the but he's not, he's not talking about. Wait, are you? <laughs> what? The the ultimate oh. showdown. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, someone did a parody of the Ultimate Showdown called the Ultimate Orgy. Oh, God. And instead of, like, Mr. Rogers in a bloodstained sweater, it was Mr. Rogers in a cum-stained sweater. Oh. And <laughs> what the hell do you Canadian kids watch? You can't just shoot terrorists? It was Newgrounds. <laughs> I love Newgrounds. <laughs> yeah, I forgot all about that, actually. It uh... just reminded me. There was also some really naughty things on Newgrounds as a kid. I was like, ew. That, yeah, and that was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, ew. <laughs> I don't even know how this thing works yet, but I like the pictures. Yeah. It makes the tingles. <laughs> yeah. A lot of stuff started on the internet for a lot of people our age. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a, a different type of thing that like old people are like, those damn degenerates. Those are, my, those are my blinders, by the way. <laughs> so you, you laugh, you lose threads. Oh, man. Dude, those are still fun, but now they're just YouTube compilation videos. Yeah. Yeah, TikToks. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Damn Chinese, um, bro. Goddamn Chinese stealing all the data. Stop it. It's good. I love the news. You know what? You, des you deserve to get your data stolen. So... My choice for coolest website, I just put in general, was Nuke Map. Um, Jax, this is a link to Pornhub. Sorry. Bro, <laughs> what are you doing, step bro? Stop. Um, no, Nuke Maps, if you look at it, you can literally put oh, a yeah. marker anywhere in the world. And it'll and then you can select the type of bomb <laughs> that you can drop at that location, and it shows you the blast radius. What the fuck, Jackson? You need therapy. I've been, this, I've been to this before, for sure. <laughs> we're talking about really cool. we're talking about cartoon games and stuff, and then Jax is like, "I learned how far the nuclear fallout would occur if I dropped a bomb here." <laughs> <laughs> like if I put it on Toronto. <laughs> 
Um, I'm putting it on my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I if I blew a bomb up in my house, how many of my neighbors would I take out with me? And if I select the little boy from Hiroshima. <laughs> How do I fucking plant? Uh, hide a burst, air burst, Four. and click detonate. It shows me. Oh, it's still calculating Four. fatalities. It's estimating a twenty death toll of twenty five thousand one hundred and sixty people with over seventy five thousand injuries. That's it. Weak. The the fireball. Well, it's Toronto, Canada. We have way less of a population than you. Do it for Chicago. Uh, I want to see how many of us would die. <laughs> Chicago. Yeah. The little boy. Yeah. What's the biggest bomb? I don't remember. Jesus. Was that a was that a burp or did you just kinda like throw up? Me? Yeah. I was yawning. Oh, all I saw was just like <laughs> So if it's dropped dead center of Chicago with estimated fatalities is hundred and ninety two thousand nine hundred. Woo! With over a hundred and seventy five thousand injuries. I'd be one of those injuries. <laughs> I'd come out stronger than ever. <laughs> EJ would come those, out a with fucking those, ninja with turtle. Those with those mutated swimmers. Oh, yeah. Super I haven't ch- looked at that website in years, but that was one that kind of popped in my head of like, that's a memorable website. Hi, Kibba. That was kind of neat to me. Well, I can I give a... <laughs> <laughs> Grim, have you found a cool website? I just, I... Pornhub. I don't know about the coolest website I've ever seen, you know? Okay, then just, like, one that you remember from when you were younger that you enjoyed spending time on. Meme-based. Meme-based. I, I funny. Nine gag. No. <laughs> uh, no, I would say Newgrounds, Newgrounds was up there. Uh, there was another one that was like Newgrounds. The bombs World? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, also, Machinima, that was a cool site. That was like YouTube before YouTube. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, there are so many Machinima series I enjoyed. And one that they completely removed off YouTube, I cannot find anymore. Yeah. Anywhere. Arena Junkies was cool, too. But that was like a... That was like a WoW-specific videos. So, yeah, cool. same, same kind of, like, concept as um as machinima did you guys did you guys watch g4 at all yeah oh yeah g4 why does that sound so familiar yeah that sounds very g4 tv yeah there was the cheats i love that g4 tv it was it was literally like if you just took oh this was an actual tv series yeah yeah yeah. it was a channel i do remember this it was like it was this along with uh games on the run or something like that and they uh it was if you took ign and made it an entire like cable channel yeah oh yeah it was g4 tv and reviews on the run i remember reviews on the run was what it was called and they had this super fucked up cartoon called code monkeys i think is what it was that i recognize i really recognize that name and I loved it when I was like 12. I was like, this is the funniest show ever. And now oh I go back God. and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ripping Friends. The Ripping Friends. That was a Teletoon late at night show, wasn't it? That was along with like Squidbillies, Aqua Teen, Hunger Force, Venture Bros. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Tree Friends. Happy oh Tree my Friends. Oh my God. Oh no! I just had a flashback. Happy Tree Friends. Robot Chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Futurama. Tripping the Rift. Do you guys remember Carl Squared? Yeah, I do. That was an okay show. Uh, anyway, I think we have to leave the podcast on that note, don't we? Because Grim, it's almost nine o'clock. Yeah, it's time for him to watch videos of himself in the nothing. Um. Well, <laughs> my bacon is. I don't know if you guys saw, but it was at eight. So, 
I've just been in it in a browser. Yeah, it's eight o'clock right now. It's almost no. nine o'clock. No, I know. It was the eight o'clock my time. So it's it's been going on currently. I'm just I have it up. Oh, so we can still continue. What yeah. the <laughs> fuck was that? Wait, what? <laughs> what happened? What did I miss? <laughs> Everything okay? <laughs> no, I don't know what happened. It was one of my neighbors is just sitting outside. And all I hear is like, "Yeah!" <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> all right. Well, oh, it's an it's an hour and five minutes into the cast. If you want to hear it when it's up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man. I, I suppose we have one more time for one more subject, Joe. Um. What's next? Fuck, man. I don't. I want to save some of these because they're all. There's a lot that are like going to be really long, like full discussions. You know. <clears throat> That's true. There, there's going to be a lot of. Okay, we'll just do because this would be the easiest one. What was one particular story of the most embarrassing moment in your oh, life? I knew you were going to do it too. <laughs> I thought it was going to be okay. And, and on a high note. Different subject. Uh, most I... embarrassing moment. Yeah. If you guys need time, I already have mine. It's you, you can go ahead. Yeah, I really so don't think I know. so this was this was last summer. So it's recent. It's fresh on my mind. Um, my girlfriend's cousin was getting married, and he had his bachelor party, and oh, yeah. it was just a it was just a fishing shooting guys trip kind of a thing. You know, out in, like, the sticks. And it was his fiance's parents, like, plot of land. And it's right on the lake. And they have, like, an old, gigantic, like, camper from the 70s. So there's, like, nothing in it. And it's super bare bones. But it's just fucking huge. Um, <laughs> so we go up there. The first night's fine. Uh, we went to bed pretty early. We were all exhausted. The second day, uh, we went, shot a bunch of guns, uh, we went to the store, picked up booze, then we went out on the boats, we fished for like four or five hours, and then we went into town and had this cute little dinner, you know, it was just boys night, everyone was having a great time, and go back, get drunk, fall asleep. I wake up. And it's like 3 a.m. And we went to bed at like 2. So I'm like, okay, fuck. Why am I up this like so quickly? And my stomach is just doing flips. And I'm like, oh my god. And I, like I knew that it wasn't the alcohol. Because like you, you, you can feel the difference, right? Between yeah. like alcohol sickness and food sickness. And I'm like, oh, okay. Something's not agreeing with me. This will be fine. So, run out in the woods, shit my brains out, and oh. as I'm walking back, I just, literally out of nowhere, it was instant, I was just like, Bleh! just projectile vomited, <laughs> all over, and I'm just like, what the fuck was that? That's never happened before, there was no like, mm, oh, I'm, I feel sick, I'm gonna throw up, I was just like, my, my stomach hurts, I just shit, projectile vomit, instant, and I'm like, well, that sucks, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now, so I go and I lay back down. Happens again at 4 a.m. Happens again at 5 a.m. So three times in a row. And I, you know, anytime I try to drink anything, eat anything, it was coming right back up. So I fell asleep finally because I, I didn't want to wake everybody up. So I didn't go back in the camper. I fell asleep on the picnic table just out in the middle of everything. Um, the, the guys wake up and find me. And, you know, they're like, Oh, you know, Joe, are you okay? Like, we heard you getting up a bunch. I'm like, yeah, I think it's just, like, I ate something and it's bugging my stomach. I'll be fine. Um, and <laughs> we we start the drive home. And I'm just sleeping the whole time. So I'm like, I can't, I can't puke or shit if I'm asleep. Um, they wake me up when we're at a grocery store. And think more like a like a sam's club costco kind of thing like it's a big ass meyer would be another one like a huge like 
grocery slash department store thing. And they're like, Joe, do you want anything? And I'm like, no, I'm, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to keep anything down. And so they go inside, they were buying more ammo and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I'm totally going to shit myself again. Uh, oh, this is bad. So I get up and I'm like power walking to like into the, into the store. And I'm like, oh my God. Uh, and I'm so worried that I'm, I'm, I'm like, I know I'm just going to like, I just can't have that projectile vomit again between now and when I get into like the stall. And I walk through the first set of double doors. There's an old guy fucking mopping the salt and stuff up. And I look at him and he looks at me and he sees the distress in my face. And I sneezed. And at the same time, I just go, Achoo! <laughs> completely blew out my shorts. I shit myself so goddamn hard. And this man, this was his reaction. Holding the fucking mop. <laughs> Motherfucker didn't blink, didn't say anything, and he heard it. Like, we both are well aware that my drawers are filled. And I just, I'm in such, I'm, I'm in absolutely terrified right now. And I'm like, because I'm wearing shorts. So I'm like, it's going to come flying out or something. So I just go, oh no. And I go sprinting into the store. I run thinking, okay, where do, where do stores typically have their bathrooms? In the back. I run all the way to the back of the store with my shit-filled shorts. There's no bathroom back there. It's a flat wall. Fuck. Okay. So I turn around and I'm looking and all the way right next to the front entrance is the bathroom. So I ran directly past it, ran all the way to the back. And so I'm power walking back through. I'm like, just don't let anybody try to talk to me. This girl comes out. Well, I had to run past like all the guns and stuff. She steps out of like, God knows fucking where it was like she was hiding. Pops out and is like, hi, sir. Can I help you with anything? I'm like, no. And I'm just still running. Cause I'm like, I'm going to shit myself again. Like I can feel it. It's happening. And I run through the checkout and I'm just yelling. I'm so sorry. And I finally <laughs> made it to the bathroom. And then my girlfriend's brother-in-law calls me because he was the one that was driving. He goes, Joe, where'd you go? You're not in the car anymore. And I'm like, can you go in my bag and grab a pair of shorts for me? And he goes, no, you didn't. And I'm like, yeah. And he's laughing. And he's like, all right, let me see if I can find something for you. And he can't. So I had to shit stained walk of shame out of the bathroom, out to the car to grab my shorts, walk back in, make eye contact again with the old man that's still in the entryway. And then I changed. I just left the shorts and everything there. And as I'm walking past, the guy goes, I'm sorry, too. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just so fucking glad I never have to go back to the store again. There's no reason in hell that I will ever be back there. <laughs> so fucking funny. Oh, so now... There's nothing that, that, that can top that. Come on. So now, so now B's family, the, the ongoing joke is anytime I'm going somewhere, it's, hey, Joe, don't shit yourself. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you that's right. never live it down. Nope. No. It'll be in, like, the fucking wedding speech. I remember when Joe shit himself. Ugh. Jeez. Oh, yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if I have anything that's that embarrassing, like at all, even close. Uh, I, I'm trying to think for myself as well, and there's never Isn't been a shit time himself? I've been. That, yeah, oh, there goes Joe. I, I'm trying to think though. Like, there's not a time I've ever been like to that extent embarrassed. Me either. Now, if I was Matt, and we were talking about the Algonquin. That's exactly where we came to yes. my mind. Yeah. Yeah. But like, so, I've never put myself into into a position where I could be extremely embarrassed. Neither have I. Like, I'm trying I real think, hard, and any time I probably would have, I was probably wasted. So I think I the only time was when I was like in second grade. I think like I had too much pop to drink and pissed on some dude's parents' couch, and fucking they had to buy a new couch. 
Ooh. It's pretty bad, but I was in like second grade, so. I, I'm sure yeah. I, the, I can't eat the rest of this burger. Oh, you tapping out? I wonder where Joe got. Did my, Joe get all my, four? I'm I'm here. On his fourth. Joe hasn't started his fourth yet. <laughs> my 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 baconator just arrived and it's delicious. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay, so I mean Joe's got this is all probably gonna get cut out anyway. Oh, it is amazing, thank you. It's good. Yeah, I don't know. Don't think I can uh think of anything that's embarrassing for me. Me either. I mean, I guess one that stands out is when I was living, um, like, Joe like, for Joe for this? No, uh, no, it's not really laughable. It's just more sad, to be honest. Well, sad can be embarrassing. Mm, wow. Well, I, mean, I can wait. Yeah, I might as well wait for him. Cause, yeah, the only times, like, I think I was even slightly embarrassed was the first time I got blackout drunk ever. And all I really ended up doing was throwing up on my girlfriend's bathroom floor. And then again, a couple oh. times on the toilet. That was really it for me. I think I've overflowed a toilet or so before. Like oh, clogged man. the toilet to the point where like the shit was just coming out instead of going down. Oh. I've done no. one of those. I haven't had like a super bad, embarrassing moment like that like that's a whole oh. fucking story that joe had like for me i just i did think of one actually i did no one knows about it because it was just me okay, but wait, i was I so take, scared i had to take a piss real quick hold the thought yeah i might as well Inter might intermission as well. intermission time <laughs> no i think just there's a lot of there's not a uh, a lot of uh, corporate tax in montreal and that's why a lot of businesses are there like ubisoft and like a bunch of different a bunch of different yeah. companies From the abyss. <laughs> Did you shit yourself? I made it. <laughs> okay, I, I'm tapping out, Joe. I'm at two and a half. I'm not doing anymore. So EJ won. So EJ wins. EJ won. That he's at three and a half burgers. God what damn. Do you mean a half? After, after. What do you mean a half? All right. Three and two thirds. Plus four egg, <laughs> bacon and eggers. <laughs> That's what it was. There you go. Before that. Um, so my embarrassing moment isn't quite embarrassing because no one knew it happened. But it was very, very close to becoming the most embarrassing moment ever. So I was staying at my ex's place. Like this was one of the first time, like not first time, one of the first times when she had moved back home with her parents. And they had just bought this brand new, very nice new Skyrise condo. And I don't know, I wasn't drinking or anything the night before. There was nothing going on. I didn't think I had eaten anything bad, but I woke up probably about three, like two or three a.m. And I'm like, I have to shit. So I ran to the washroom and then did everything. Wiped my ass and the motherfucker clogged. <laughs> and I didn't know what to do. There was no plunger in the bathroom. The plunger was oh, in. Oh no! The, <laughs> the plunger was in her parents' bathroom. But to get to that bathroom, you had to go into her parents' master bedroom to the washroom. Oh no! To get to that, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm there. I'm panicking. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? How do I get this out? And like, I'm sitting there, and then like, I was like, okay, maybe if I flush again, I flushed. Oh. No, water just filled. I'm like, okay, I I cannot, I cannot go into her fucking parents' bedroom to get this plunger. And I cannot wake her up to wake her parents up for this fucking plunger. Like, there's no way in hell. All right, let's try flushing again. So I flushed it again. And then the water started to rise above the bowl lid. <laughs> and started going onto the floor. I'm like, no! But at that exact moment, it all went down. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. It was god. such a close call. No, dude, no. <laughs> oh my god. It all went down. And then I'm like, there is shit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so what I did was I would just bunch up a bunch of toilet paper. I started wiping it all up. I just throw it in one at a time, flush, and then did that till it was clean. Sprayed some air freshener and like wiped it down with a little bit of water afterwards. And I never said a thing. Yo, you think you <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, they're pretty That's... heavy slippers. <laughs> that that was scary though. Yeah, it's happened to me before where it, it's actually all came down. <laughs> Like my Chipotle ass fucking corn coming down. Oh. Had to get it all up. Had to yeah. get it back in there. Plunge it. <laughs> You're plunging it, it's just overflowing more. You just gotta go. Yeah. Just standing in <laughs> it. Just gotta go. <laughs> yeah, that that was probably the closest moment I've ever had to an embarrassment. I've l I lucked the hell out on that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I've never said anything. Never knew about it. How about you, EJ? What was your close thing? It's it's not even close. It's actually embarrassing and super sad. Do it. <laughs> um. So when I lived up north, like more more of northern Canada, uh, so Jackson had no idea I even existed at this time. Yeah, um, years ago, there was a um like a town wide talent show right and it was hosted at the at the high school and <laughs> i went up to sing a song and i was like probably 9 i don't remember <laughs> what song it was i don't even remember what song it was but i got called up i was fucking hyped i was like yeah i'm going to do this as soon as i looked out to the crowd i froze <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't move whatsoever. <laughs> I was just staring like No. <laughs> Falls over. Ting. <sighs> like it, it it was I I'm I'm traumatized because of that. <laughs> I traumatized myself. That's it incredible. <laughs> Um, and you know what? I you know I'm pretty sure ever since that day I promised myself that I would never put myself into another situation where I could be that embarrassed, and I haven't. <laughs> Man, just word. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like I haven't done it. I haven't put myself into a situation where I've been super embarrassed. Oh, but, actually, I just thought of one that's kind of really sad too. I'm gonna tell them about. About our buddy from uh, in Algonquin. Uh, one, one second. So I do have one more actually. This one's more sad than anything else. Oh no. So I got bullied a lot. In um. I bullied the shit out of Alex. Yep. Yeah. Um, I got bullied a lot, pretty much all the way till. It wasn't as bad when I met EJ. It got it lessened at that point, but I didn't really stop until high school. Um, one of the times I really remember, though, and this is when I went to school with your cousin, EJ. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is an old one. I was probably grade three, two or three at this point. So in the back field of our school, it was recess time. And we had, like, there was, like, this small creek that went all the way through the field. Yeah. <clears throat> there was one wooden bridge that went across. And on either side of the bridge is where all the water really pooled within that creek. Like, that was the biggest part of water, was either side of that bridge. And me being a fucking dumb kid, uh, I don't know. I, I just wandered around the playground at times. I literally did not have any friends. It was pretty sad. Um, I just wandered around the playground, so I ended up watering over by the bridge. And this one older kid was like, this is, this is also more of me being an idiot. He was like, oh, you free, free push into the water, free push into the water. So I was like, you know what? All right, fucking bet. So I went, I went to push this kid in the water, and he dipped out of the way the last second, and I went straight flying into the fucking water <laughs> in front of all these different people. 
and I just Jesus. felt defeated. That was just defeat. <laughs> I don't even know why I went for it. And it's just like, you know what? Cool. Sure. Free push. And yeah, no, that was embarrassing. I got out of the water and I was like fucking in tears at that time. <laughs> it was bad. Damn, it was bro. really bad. <laughs> anyway, EJ, carry on with that story. <laughs> so me, Jax, and our our two other buddies, we were all in like scouts, right? Like Boy Scouts. Mm-hmm. So we went to the the Same, national the park. We went to the national park, uh, by Toronto, and well, it's way up north. It's Algonquin Park, but yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then, well, however the fuck far it is, but we, uh, we, we, we get like really, really far into the the park, and we're we're portaging, and so if for those of you who don't know portaging, um, basically we hit a uh, we would canoe all the way through the park, and then we'd hit a section you couldn't get through by water so you'd have to take all your shit out of the water backpack and throw your canoes over your head and take it to the other end of the trail and this was probably a 1.5 kilometer portage or probably about a mile do you remember how me and jordan fucking booked the one the canoes yeah anyways yeah so we we got to this one portage and our buddy let's call him let's call him jim our buddy goes, um, I don't know, his buddy. Um, he goes, I got a shit. So we're like, okay, go, go for it, go ahead. This motherfucker doesn't squat. He just rips down his pants and just shits. <laughs> yeah, and, it, and then and it, <laughs> it landed the shit, the ball of shit landed in his pants. <laughs> Oh and and no one noticed and i i don't know i can't remember if it no was i did so i was walking by at oh, the okay. time he had did it and i'm like what the fuck is that smell <laughs> and i look at matt and he had like a shit right all down his left leg <laughs> and he's like oh man and he booked it to the water and he like he grabbed his uh, other pair of shorts out of his bag, booked it to the water, just took off his shorts and everything, let it float away, <laughs> scrubbed his leg, and just put on his new pair of shorts. As if it never happened. Oh, yeah. The thing was, it was near the beginning of this portage, like the beginning of the entire duration of it. So every time you walked by, it was so bad. And it was just you, you shit. Had to, you had to keep going back and forth because of the amount of fucking shit that, that like, the whole group brought. Because we were there so, for a week, like, so we had bring full <sighs> food barrels, coolers, our own stuff, plus all the camping equipment. Yeah. So, like, we had to keep walking by it. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. It was so bad, man. It was so bad. Scouts was a lot of fun though. We were the most scuffed group. It, the entire, it sounds. Like, you know how like every town has their group. Yeah. Right? Like within a certain area, mm-hmm. out of all the groups, almost all of them were like the goody two shoe groups, where they're like, oh yeah, like I don't know, like we made some fires and like we cooked some marshmallows and all this stuff, and then there would be like me and TK. We'd go off to the woods to smoke a bit of weed. <laughs> 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 and like we'd come back and i i don't know like we were just so fucking scuffed like we, our whole group was more of a group of friends because we all hung out with each other as well outside of the group so then this was like more of a reason like our parents paid for us to go camping and then we just did shenanigans that's incredible <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all our scout group actually was <laughs> and that's how it should be oh oh okay this one I need to tell. So you know how there's scouts, ventures, rovers. Mm-hmm. So we had a rover group that went with us one year. Is this is this what I'm saying? Is is it? Is, I are hope you, so. Are you with, with me? AA Ron. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we had this dude in our group, AA Ron. Oh and no. Yeah. So he was like, all the girls liked this dude. Like he was the two uh, thousands emo kid. 
that all the girls like really fell in love with. That was the type of guy he was. Um, so anyway, they there. When you're in scouts, you venture this far into Algonquin. When you're somebody's beating me up. Or sorry, yeah. When you're scouts, you venture this far in. When you're uh, ventures, you venture a bit further. And when you're rovers, you do the off paths. Like they're not taken care of by Algonquin Park staff. You go deep. Okay. So they were about three days into Algonquin. Three days of canoeing, portaging, and so forth. And um, buddy A.A. Ron goes out into the woods. He has to take a leak. So he took a leak. And I guess his dick brushed up against something he was allergic to. <laughs> and his whole crotch, I guess, ended up swelling up, bubbling. And it was fucked. They, oh, <laughs> we saw them go by our camp. We're like, is everything good? Aaron's going to the hospital. Oh, <laughs> they... They they did a three day portage in probably about three four hours, yeah, to, just to get back and get him to, to the to get hospital. that motherfucker out to the hospital. Oh my god! Yeah, it was pretty fucking bad. Remember how you uh, bet me or, or t- like tr- tried to get me to or get to see how long I could stay in the water? EJ stayed in the water for like fourteen hours. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Like he, Wait, just, he just sit like Randy, right like, <laughs> just like swim around. Like we brought his food down to him. Just <laughs> <laughs> see how long he can stay in this fucking water. <sighs> oh no, dude! How yeah. pruny were you? Pretty pruny. <laughs> Pretty fucking pruny. Pretty pruny. Real fucking pruny. Like, uh, dude, really oh. fucking pruny. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I could prove the point though. Uh, yeah, no, he he did it. He did it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Anyway, I think this is a fair point to end the podcast on. We've been going for quite a while. An yeah. hour and a half. Hour that's and a pretty, half. That's pretty good. So. We got a lot of content to chop up. <laughs> <laughs> All Yo, right, Joe, get on it. Joe, Joe, I <laughs> left you. I left you a present. While 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 you, while you were gone to the bathroom, it'll probably be my thumbnail. Be, be, because because everyone else left, and it was just me. Oh, you guys all dipped at the same time. Yeah. Well, no, no, you had been gone for like five minutes, and then me and Jax decided to go also to the restroom. So it was just okay. Cool. Was so I can. I was just eating a baconator. Cool. So I can like cut a portion. Yeah. Uh. I thought that you guys were just going to keep going with it, and I was like, this is going to be hilarious. All right, good. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the Fragcast, episode two. Brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. No. No, no, no. Um. Anyway. That's been the Fragcast with Awoken Anomaly, Grim Chief, Joe Fusho, Lil Clorox, and Hidden Archer. Who's actually fucking hidden. Yeah, who's actually hidden. He doesn't like Lives up to his name. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, thank you everyone for those who watched. It's been a great honor playing with everybody, including Grim. He wants to touch everyone. Yep. Have a good night, everyone. Grim likes to touch on people. Bye! Fuck you. I like. All right, that's fair. We did it.